Hey guys, my name is Brian Woon. A bit of background story. Six months I worked as, as copywriter for six months at Richard International Properties as a Canadian developer in Malaysia. And then uh, five and a half years at, in Property Guru as a sales manager. Some of you might already know me. Right, six months at H Prop as a part time salesperson, and I've also been a social media advertising coach at SBS Mercenaries Ram Bahad. So today we'll be covering a few things about what my course provides for negotiators. Uh, my course is mainly for real estate negotiators. However, other fields may also uh, attend my courses. So what we'll be covering in this course for which what I call Facebook A to Z Advertising Workshop. We'll be learning how to create a page, how to optimize your page, how to create your posts, written and video types. We'll also be doing market research, okay, and how to use the audience insights tool, how to create a post engagement ad, how to create lead generation ads, how to analyze your reports from your ads, and also additional tools and Instagram ads. So report it. Analyzing reports is very important because it's not just whether or not you receive calls or whether or not there's anybody click on your lead generation ads. Because sometimes through do through this report you will know whether or not the target audience that you're targeting is the correct audience or not. Okay? And the total hours for the class is usually six to eight hours. We will we can split it over two to four days so you don't overload your brain too much. For fast learners, it will be, you can usually compete between four to six hours. You can either do it in one day or usually I recommend at least two days. Okay, for slow learners, eight to ten hours to complete the course. So what we'll be covering it will not be in slides, it will be live presentation. So I'll guide you step by step and then you can watch and uh, follow at the same time. So what will, these are some examples of pages, okay, uh, from some of my past students. This one, for example, Morning Design Marketing, they are a custom sofa creating company, okay. So this is just, this is a business page, yeah. Okay. So these are just simple posts, right, what they do. The reason why I'm able to see or hear a little bit more of these statistics is because I'm also a moderator or admin in the page for all my student. Okay, so these are some of the things that they do. This is another one. Uh, this is more of my personal one. It's a video page. Okay, and this one is by far my best student of 2019. End of 2019, early 2020, before the MCO time. Okay, so Hikaya Hatana or Property Stories. He's very active in, in posting. So far has built up 714 followers. Okay. So he mixed between a shop section where you put all your listings in. This is your free warehouse in Facebook, by the way. Alright, services you provide and the listings or the sharings that you want to have. So currently in MCO period, it's a little bit harder for you to be trying to advertise properties and all that. I get it. But you should not let your page activity slow down or dry out. Okay, I'm sure all of you will be still doing your cold calls, trying to get more listings, advertising and so forth. So what you can do is you can also do it like how he does it and basically share posts. Most of these is what he created himself or he wrote out on his own. Sometimes some of his posts are taken from websites such as HProp, right? News articles. Right? You can you try and find those that are more related to real estate. Or maybe just a little bit of like sharing in this kind of things. Okay? So you can share articles from HProp, you can share articles from Property Guru. Right, I'm sure iProperty, PropSocial and many other uh, places you can use their uh, news articles in your, into your uh, Facebook page as sharing. Okay? So besides that, okay, I'll also teach you how to use these insights to check your page to see when is the best time to post 
right this is the example using uh, Hikaya Hatana okay all these are statistics I'll explain to you what each is and how, what to look out for okay this is very important to know when and where your customers or what time your customers are coming into your page on which day right so Facebook tracks this kind of statistics right to see what time or when as you can see here on Thursdays there's a short spike a little bit before around 2 o'clock compared to the daily average right, you'll see the spikes are different so on Thursdays Fridays and Saturdays his page has more view more of the viewers around the afternoon period right you can see the chart okay so this is a little bit of example okay besides that I'll also teach you how to create the settings so that Facebook will know uh, to look onto your page to follow your behaviors to assist you when you do your advertisements there are many many little things there are a lot it seems like a lot of buttons in here but don't worry I'll guide you through and how to set up your page okay besides that I'll teach you also how to use your ads account how to create your advertisements these are some of the students that still have me on as uh, admin to their accounts Right, you might be familiar with some of the names but I won't be showing the accounts I'll be using mine okay these are some of the ads that I have done for testing or for assistance or some of them are my own okay and this is how your ads manager page usually would look like if you've previously done ads for those of you who have never done ads before this page will be empty okay I'll teach you how to create a, a customized response a customized report because these things small less sometimes do not cover the data that you require let's say for example I need this one okay and through doing post engagement ads right, targeting different people different locations you'll be able to see the results and I'll cover this whole section in the course okay besides that I also cover some tools like whatsapp.my this one is a very good I, I it's not sponsored not sponsored video but this is quite good okay quite good to use because you can create five links for one handful number or unlimited or up to unlimited like if you subscribe and you sign up for a paid account okay but this is free another one is some of you will ask how you can put emojis and all that into your post this is how okay this is where you can get it I also cover this during the Facebook class so you might be wondering Brian how much is this gonna cost me so for this Facebook course we have I have three options available okay so option one is one to one which is thousand five net option two is one to two a thousand dollars each and if you're in a group okay like as option three here states max size of 10 okay so 5 to 10 people it will be $700 per person and because now it's MCO and I can't go to the agency to teach you guys what we can do is we can use zoom meeting okay so we can schedule a zoom meeting and we'll see how things go how things proceed and we can just use that if zoom meeting is not too stable we can always try Google Hangouts or a combination of screen share if it's one to one right that can do the the team viewer and share screen and i think right now the best will still be zoom meeting like there are other options available like google hangout but i haven't tried that yet so for now we'll be using zoom meeting huh? okay so workshop style is live practice and demonstration so as i show you through zoom meeting how to do the settings you can uh, and uh, do it straight away on your site okay so that's all from me and if you're interested to know more or you want to sign up for the course this is my contact number okay so you can just drop me a whatsapp right and uh, we can set up the session for the Facebook class okay so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in class.